I got my celestial temple box. Finally, finally, finally. I wanted to unbox it. And I want to show you all the amazing things I got because I'm so, so excited. And I was like, I knew that they were going to do an amazing job of um, packaging it and everything because they do, they always do. Well, no, I shouldn't say always. This is only the second time I've ever ordered from them, but I was getting so many different things and I was like, oh my God, I just want this all to work so well. Ah, okay, so... Just like last time, I got some gifts, so cute. I asked for um, some of these little footsies or stands or whatever. And then I got a gold one as well because I have something in there that I want to look fancy with a gold one, not just a little wooden one. And then I got some candy and stickers. And I don't know what this is. That's rose quartz for sure. And that might be green adventure, but it looks like maybe jade or something. I don't know, the texture is different than what I've had for adventure. So excited. Oh, I'm just so thoughtful for like including a gift and everything. Had scissors. So I <laughs> just moved into a new apartment, hence my deluxe chairs. Um, and I don't know if this video is going to be echoey or not because, like, currently we have our mattress in the living room because that's where the TV is and we don't have a couch yet. So Uh, woo, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be when I ordered it. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Oh, we're good. We're good. Holy crap. That scared me. Ah, look at this little druzy star. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. excited to just put these everywhere. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Honestly, I got way too much stuff. Like I was just getting stuff, getting stuff. And I would, I started keeping it like a list because I was like, hey, I need to know how much I'm paying here. Cause it was like a two day live sale. And I didn't want to. Didn't want to spend too much, but I did anyways. And it was because I knew I was moving into this new apartment. And I was thinking about, I was putting the intention out of like, okay, what kind of vibes do I want to bring to this new apartment? What kind of crystals do I want to bring into this apartment to amp up the energy? These are packed so nicely, but I'm just like way too impatient to. Oh, those are bigger than I thought too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got an orange calisite. I love orange calisite. It like, it's just like juicy to me. Like it's just, it reminds me of like, well, it looks like an orange. So like fresh squeezed orange juice and like just freshness and bubbliness and just joyful energy. So I'm really excited to have that. And then this was, I want to say it's green calcite. Oh God, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I don't have my list with me of what I got. I have it on my phone. Oh, I'm sure the invoice is in here somewhere, but whatever. Um, yeah. It was like green calcite with inclusions or something. I can put like my full list of what I got in the comments. Oh. 
What are you? I forgot what you were. Huh. I thought I got a different one. Maybe I, I don't know. I thought I got a different one. Hmm, but that's okay. So this is my penny, <laughs> I think. Unless it's like in here farther. I thought I got it, I definitely thought I got a different one, but that's okay. That's probably my memory acting up on me. Um, I wanted to get a carnelian flame because I've been working with my sacral like crazy. And there's this like really pretty twisty one um, that I was going for on the live sale. And that was the one that I took a screenshot of to keep a memory of what I was getting. But um, whatever, it's not like I'm disappointed about this bad boy. It's really pretty. Honestly, I need to, I need to find my notebook, have a bite. Okay, so I was mistaken. I totally thought that I got this different one that was like bigger and more of a spiral and had different colors in it and stuff, but this is the one that I claimed. It was probably because I was already on such a freaking roll and the other one was more expensive and this one was less expensive and I knew I wanted a huge piece of carnelian. I almost called it Celestite because, you know, Celestial Temple. But I've got so many goodies, so it's not like I'm really disappointed. I was just confused there, guys. Just slowed me down. Oh, this one might be easier to unpack. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Celestial. Ah, oh, yay, yay! Celestial Temple. Okay, this is my little dish. It's not very deep, but honestly, I don't care. Like, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna use it really as a dish. I'm gonna use it as like a little half moon. Pulled some rings in there, probably. It's really small, but I just like, I really wanted fluorite and I really wanted one of the little bowls that she had. And this one had gorgeous coloring. Like, oh, oh. got little crystals in it and stuff. Uh, little rainbows, I mean. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Celestial Temple, for sure check it out if you are into buying crystals. Um, be forewarned, she has amazing things, so um, you're gonna overspend. <sighs> I have a box in there, but I want to wait on that because I'm pretty sure I know what's in there. Some of these things I'm like, oh right, I got that. So excited, so, so excited. My boyfriend and I, we moved provinces. And so like his parents came this past weekend to drop off some of his stuff, but like we weren't even really sure what they were gonna be dropping off and like what we would still need. And it turns out we need so much stuff and like we've got zero decor and I'm like, babe, I got us covered. And he's like, cause like, he likes them. Like he likes the crystals and stuff, but he's not like a crazy person like me. Okay, this guy is so cute. He's bigger than I thought he was gonna be. And he's a, so much cuter than I thought he was gonna be. Which is weird. Cause I knew he was gonna be so freaking cute. And he's even cuter than I thought. Look at my little amethyst hedgehog. He's so cute. I feel like this would be a really cute bathroom crystal once I get the bathroom organized. Just hang out on the sink. Just say hi. Maybe if I find a cute little shelf to put him on. He's so cute. Look at his little lopsided face. How sweet. I'm so happy. Look at those big freaking points on him. He's a spiky guy. He's adorable. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have so much stuff. Ooh, this is what I wanted the gold stand for. I'm thinking, I think this is, 
I think I know what this is. Yes. Because, guys, I want to start scrying, and I was thinking about getting like a scrying like, um, black mirror or like finding a nice bowl to scry, and then she brought out these bad boys. And they were kind of affordable, so <laughs> I decided I wanted to get a crystal ball. Like my game plan, once we're on our, like all or unorganized, once we're organized and everything, I'm gonna have like a really nice altar. I hope in our room, because like I don't know if Trevor would want me to have like witchy stuff everywhere, because like our style is cohesive, like with the crystals and. He's like very like woodsy cabiny and stuff. So we're gonna bring a lot of like natural elements to this apartment um, and try and keep it really cute. Um, but he's not like super bohemian and I kind of want to just go all out on my altar because like I'm gonna have um, offerings to like the mermaids and the fairies and the unicorns and the dragons, right? And I'm gonna have offerings to different deities when I work with them. I wanna have space for my herbs and space for my crystals and all this good stuff. And so, I mean, there will be room in the living room, but I'm hoping that there's gonna be room in the bedroom once we have everything sorted. <gasps> ah! Okay, no, that's not, the, what's in the box is something different. This is what I thought was gonna be in the box. <gasps> oh God. This is going to be on my altar, speaking of my altar. Look at him! He's so pretty! Ah! Oh my god, look at the freaking details! Her, like, wherever she gets her carvings is, like, on point. Like, even underneath, like, he's got, like, little, like, jaw bones. Which makes it sit nice and flat. Oh my god, just look at him. I love him. It's like he's been to war because he's kind of like absorbed some darkness from his <laughs> battles and he's got scars to prove it and his nice little teeth stick out on an underbite. Oh, I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Yeah, he can go there for now. I want to like be able to show you guys everything, but I got so many big stuff. I'm, I'm like, this is like basically all I remember buying. I must have bought one more spear. Spear sphere because I have another one of these unless that just automatically came with that because if it did that's nice because I have an amethyst for a sphere oh no now I know what it's for I think yeah <laughs> um whatever that's okay I have an amethyst or a sphere that needs a place to sit and I actually ordered it from another place on a Facebook group that I'm part of and like she didn't really offer stands or anything I don't think I don't, I don't remember seeing that in the post anyway and then that package came in after I partook in this live sale and it was too late to order a stand for it to come in the same package and because like Celestial Temple is based in, I feel like, in New York. New York sounds right. But either way, it's in the States and I'm in Canada. So it takes like forever for them to get here. But it's fine because it's like, it's like this where I forget half the stuff that I ordered. And I'm like, oh, great. This is amazing. Okay, so this is what the other stand is for. This is so funny. I'm like, like spheres everywhere. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize how many freaking spheres I bought. That's wild. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know where to put this bad boy. But anyway, this is a selenite sphere. I actually really like working with these when I do my energy healing. So I really wanted to get a bigger one. I just have like a little one and he's starting to get all bumped up because I've just moved so many times with it and like just not, it just hasn't gotten the proper care it needs. And it's small too. And I wanted like a really big one when I do energy healings because um, I'm starting to do more and 
I just want to be able to really purify the space while I'm working with people. I love, 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 love Solomon's spheres. They're so gorgeous. Okay, what else do we got here? I have, so oh, okay, we're getting low, guys. There's popcorn on the bottom. I was thinking that that was even more packages, and I was like, I don't even know what else I got. I do know what else I got, but there's some things like, oh, I think I do remember what's in that box now. Now that's making sense, going through my inventory in my head. Oh yeah, pretty sure I know what this one is too. I'm getting better at unwrapping this bubble wrap. Oh yeah. Okay, she had this crystal that I had never worked with before and she was bringing it out and she had so many different um, like uh, carvings and stuff with it and I just knew that I needed to get a DT double terminated. So this is Trollite and just look at it. Like, first of all, Aesthetic as fuck. Like, so pretty. This would be another really cute bathroom crystal. I also don't have very many, like, um, carved DT crystals. Um, a lot of them are my natural, like, DT. Um, or, like, have broken into them, you know? Um, and they can, like, pass as one. <laughs> I've never actually bought one, like, on purpose. And these colors were just like insane. Like this is probably one of my favorite purchases that I got other than the dragon. You're my favorite, don't worry. Um, and the star is pretty cute too. But I just, I really like the colors that I've never worked with this crystal before. So I'm really looking forward to connecting with its energy. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know There's like one more, oh right, yeah, no, I do know everything that's left now that I've unpacked stuff. It's like, there was stuff that I got that I was like, oh my God, I've been like waiting to buy one of these and I just, I happen to have like money to spend and um, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get these. And then there was other things that were 100% impulse buys and I did not plan on getting them. Like the hedgehog, impulse, obviously. Look how cute he is. How do you leave him? And the Druzy star, I planned on getting a star, but like that was like, it was gonna be like an extra thing for me, but those were just so pretty. This guy, again, like I wasn't planning on getting a dragon carving. I love him so much. Oh, and he's like a little bit smaller than I thought he was gonna be, which is actually really good because like I said, I'm gonna use him on my altar as part of my uh, dragon tribute. So that'll be good. Ooh, yay. Ah, this will be a crystal that Trevor is okay with me putting in the living room. This is my bloodstone tower. Look how beautiful. I love, love, love the layers and gradients. It's actually like shiny. Like it almost looks like there's like pyrite inclusions or something because it's like glittery almost, you know, like. And this is a really cool shaped tower too. It's like more flat on these two sides and then it's like angled in on those two. I guess that shows the shape. Yeah, you guys are seeing some of the prices for these things. Don't keep track of how much money I spent because I'm not telling you. Okay. Um, okay, there's actually two things. I totally forgot that I bought this too, but I'm really happy about it. Because this is one carving actually. Actually, yeah, I was gonna keep an eye out for some carving. And yeah. Sorry, I'm just like admiring it, not showing you guys. This is my road night skull. I love it. 
Honestly, when I look at it, it reminds me a little bit of that like pink camo, like real tree, <laughs> like hunting stuff. But it, it's so like woodsy, but still like so like heart chakra centered that it's like who I am. And I really wanted a skull because um, I'm friends with a lady who told me that skulls are really good. I'm just gonna space things out here a little bit because you guys have seen this stuff now. Ooh. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm friends with a lady who told me that um, skulls are really good for protecting your space um, and if you like work with them and if you program them they are like really good at keeping your energy good and keeping um, negative energy away and negative spirits and stuff and I thought that was really important moving into a new apartment one and two because I seem to attract spirits and <laughs> unfortunately I can't like I can't see them, I can feel them, but I can't see them. So like sometimes it gets confusing for me because I'm just not too sure if like, it's like a spirit that wants urgent attention or if it's a spirit that's negative because it kind of comes off as the same energy to me. So um, it was important for me to, I think I actually got one more thing. Weird. There's actually a few things well, at least one more thing that I thought I got, but whatever. Honestly, I got so many freaking things. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's what I feel about being an empath and an empathically feeling spirits around. And the more that I like practice my like energy work and um, get more in tune with my intuition and start like opening up everything more it just is getting like, stronger and stronger and there's like clear cognizant stuff too that like i get all paranoid so i wanted to it was important for me to get that skull yay jesus stabby stab oh she said this one was sharp too that's hilarious i just like put a tiny little nick in the table because it just like, <laughs> this is a little sodalite tower. This is another thing that I really wanted to get was a sodalite tower because I really want to work on my um, conflict resolution. And um, it's not that I'm bad at conflict resolution or that I don't, or that I'm like non-confrontational because like I kind of am confrontational. <laughs> like if there's an issue, then I want to bring it up but I just wanted to have like open communication in this apartment and I didn't want any like wires crossed or anything. So I wanted to get this as well. And then I have one more thing, I think. I think, I thought that I ordered one more thing after this, but I might've stopped myself because I bought a lot. Okay, so, um, Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more things. <laughs> you guys, oh yeah. Oh my God, I forgot that. I... <laughs> okay, well, okay, no, we'll save this. This is a, this is a candle, I already know. I, I'll just tell you guys, but I'm gonna tell you the details of it after. Cause I forgot. This is the one thing that I remembered that I was like, hmm, I thought I got one more thing, but there's two more other things after that that I was like, Okay, I don't even know what this crystal is. I'm gonna have to put in the comments. Um, but it was like one of the last things that she pulled out and I just thought it was really pretty. And she had like bigger chunks too, but I was like, okay, I'm at my like freaking end of the bankroll and I just wanted it. <laughs> and it's got like a nice like soapstone type texture. It's I like it a lot. And then I totally forgot these other things that I got because, <laughs> so I, I got a trolley 
moon too because I loved it so much and this tiny little guy. Oh my god, I'm not even showing it very nicely. <laughs> I don't know how to show it. There. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about this. I totally forgot. This is one of those impulse buys that I was telling you about. And then this one I do remember getting. Um, so this was an obsidian with iron inclusions, I believe. It's a little um, Ganesh totem, and that's another thing that I wanted to get for my altar. Um, because this is one of the first deities that ever came to me. <gasps> Fuck me! Why do I keep dropping things? I'm getting so paranoid that I'm gonna break something. I just got these. Oh my god. <laughs> Anywho, it's really important to me because it was one of the first deities that ever came to me um, and wanted to work with me and I thought it was really special because he's all about abundance and manifesting and indulgence and stuff and the, so that was like one of the first deities that I like actively worked with and like left out candy for him and like looked up how to work with him and everything and so I wanted to get that so I could just show my thanks to him. Okay, so yeah. So these candles are made with soy and they're all natural and she said that on the top she put um, some crystal gifts in there and then also a crystal on top to just go with the candles. Um, she said she didn't want to like, put it in the candles because then you have to like melt the wax and stuff. But this is also reusable. I don't know what I'm going to use it for but it's adorable. It's just like a little mug. So adorable and this is solar flare and I believe it was like coconut and peach and stuff. Aww, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so I got these like little like aura points, so that's cool. I don't know if you can tell if they're aura. It's hard to tell. They just have like a little pink tinge to them. And I got Oh, this is so special and she like won't even realize how special this is. I really wanted to get one of the turtle carvings, but I was like, you know, like I'm already spending so much on other things. I have a feeling that this is tiger's eye, but it might be Jasper. She gave me a little turtle. <laughs> how sweet is that? I love turtles. My, um, the, out of the place that we just moved, um, our roommate was an intuitive healer and she has a lot of ties with the First Nation communities, um, especially like Haida Gwaii in Northern BC. And she was talking about spirit animals one day and I was like, oh, I've never looked into it. Like, cause I'm, I'm white and I felt like it was like appropriation to just like go in there and just like, I don't know like obviously like everyone finds their own pathway and like it's not appropriation if you're like you know finding out all the research you need and you're not just like being ignorant and oblivious and like privilege about it you know but i just like i just told her i wasn't too sure i had never looked it up and she one day she was just like because she works with her intuition so much that she can feel it in her body like she's done the body talk courses and everything and so she just asks herself questions to see like what it what everything is and she told me my spirit was the tarot so this is really really awesome and there's also like a whole bunch of little amethyst chips in here which is another really sick thing to have for crystal <laughs> grids and stuff like that Oh my goodness gracious. I want to get them out of here though, because that candle smells freaking good and I want to light it right away. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like pineapple, coconut, goodness. Mostly pineapple. Oh my god, I love this. I'm gonna be lighting this in my kitchen like as soon as I stop this video. Okay, so that is my haul. Oh my goodness gracious, I got so many things. Um, I'll do a big pan and show you guys now everything I got 
And yeah, this is from Celestial Temple. They do Instagram live sales like all the time. They give you lots of notice. They give a countdown on their story. Um, they're amazing to order from. It's so much fun. Everyone's so interactive in the comments and everyone's like friends and encouraging each other, which is unhealthy for my spending habits, but it feels awesome to know that people are like, yeah, you buy that crystal. It's awesome. Um, so thank you for joining me for this unboxing, kind of impromptu, but I just got this package and I wanted to show off all the amazing things that I got. And yeah, thanks for listening to me, to my, to me ramble and yeah, feel free to subscribe, I guess. I guess that's what YouTubers say, right? Subscribe. Hit that button. I do <laughs> card readings and I talk about the different elements and different elementals. You can also find me on Instagram at Venture Trail. I'm also on Twitter where I just like blabble everything. And that's not a word blabble, but I just made it up. So now it is. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm not going to do too much more selling of myself because all I really wanted to do was show off my goodies. <laughs> you know, these ones. <laughs> Love you. Okay, so here's a little pan of everything up close. 